Tauruses, here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tarot, and this is going to be your reading for July 2018. How is everybody doing? How are you? How was your How is your summer and uh, your month of July? I hope everything is fine with you. I wasn't here for a while because I deal with some uh, uh, medical issues, uh, which are called osteoarthritis, which will be diagnosed, and um, waiting for operation. So I have to take it easy with my arm. Okay, uh, but I'm here now. That's the present. Let's forget the past and let's go for your reading. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do the same spread as last month, so check it out. Okay, my beautiful angels, what's going on with Taurus in general life for the month of July 2018? What's going on with Tauruses for July 2018? What's going on with my Tauruses for July 2018? What's going on with my Taurus? For a month of July 2018 for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? July 2018 for general life. General life. And the overall message. Okay, what's going on with Tauruses in the general life on Monday of July 2018? What's going on with Taurus for the month of July 2018 in general life? What's going on with Tauruses in the month of July 2018? And the love. What's going on with Taurus in your love life for the month of July 2018? What's going on with Taurus in your love life for the month of July 2018? Taurus for the month of July 2018 in love. What's going on with Taurus in love for the month of July 2018? What's going on with Taurus in Love Life from on the July 2018? And the overall message. What's going on with Taurus in the Love Life from on the month of July 2018? What's going on with Taurus in the love for the month of July 2018? And the overall message. Okay, Taurus, so let's go for it. So, for the general life, as we start, you have Page of Fire, which is Page of Wands, and Five of Cups. Also, Seven of Air, which is Seven of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. You have a Five of Swords, Five of Air, and the Judgment. And you have a six of fire as an overall message and a hierophant. Six of wands. In the love you have a keep an open mind and the observe, which is hangman. As well as you have a separation and the trust, which is a fool. As well as pay attention to red flags and the new vitality which is Ace of Wands. 
and you have a calling in your soulmate as overall and a fine balance which is the two of pentacles so let's go for your uh general first uh let me absorb the tarot messages all right then <laughs> Okay, what I feel, Taurus, is a you could be uh, in your general life, there could be some uh, issue involving or regarding to some younger fire sign. Uh, let's say um, younger Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, could be a child, could be a teenager, could be a young male, female, which makes you really feel uh, sad, heartache, disappointed. Maybe something happened, could be your child, if you have a children, if you have a child that is in a uh, a fire sign maybe you're having problems with your child with uh, some somebody of the matter if you're a teacher it could be your your, your student and somebody that is definitely uh, making you hard time at the moment if could be some lies involved uh, could be some lies or some deception you've been going through at the moment um, could be uh, also some legal issues with illegal uh, arguments or some matters that has to be solved legally if you have a for some of you if you have a child that has been in involved in some crime or some theft or anything of that matter you have to be going um, possibly to the court or to police and you have to be now uh, dealing with that it's really making your hard time um, Also, I feel that for others of you, if, if it's nothing of that matter, it could mean as well that you may be um, having a troubles with your love, love life, which we're going to see later on. You, having trouble, you may be having a troubles with your love life that is affecting your life in overall and maybe you can't concentrate on anything else maybe you are forced to lie to your family to your friends to your co-workers about something because you need to be somewhere else maybe for some of you i feel that at the moment you are let's say skipping work making uh, some excuses because you need to deal with some heartbreak or whatever the case and it starts to have a problem uh, you start to have a problem uh, with your in your general life let's say in your work or within your friends or in your family because of that um maybe you also trying to um maybe you feel very confused because i have a two sword cards i would say that a, a lot of these issues are happening in your head in in your mind so maybe you're having a uh, crazy thoughts you know you are um maybe trying to uh, decide what actually is that you need in your life to be better you know it feels that um uh, it seems like you could be really depressed or could have some a problems with uh, 
you could have problems now with the, your state of mind that is affecting your work probably as well. If you are some kind of artist or if you're some kind of creative person, maybe you are not having any mojo, any any ideas at the moment. Maybe you've been uh, forced, maybe those publishers or people who are above you, managers, uh, are demanding some art from you whether you are a sing singer uh, and they demanding uh, i don't know the new album that is long overdue or a new book that is long overdue but you don't have energy to do anything you're not creative at all at the moment you feel really empty your mind your brain is empty and you are making excuses just to save your um, back a seems like for some of you it could be uh, escalated into real arguments with your boss with your publishers with uh, your a uh, and entertainment manager or whatever the case may be and you may have to go to some legal matters with that For others of you feel that you've been invited to places but because you're so uh, depressed or you've been having some kind of issues with your heart, whatever, uh, you feel like you don't want to go anywhere, you feel like you want to be just left, uh, left, left be, basically. There could be some plans as well that you have to um, organize or maybe two two se uh, two separate uh, decisions you have to go through. But it's very poor timing. It's very bad time now to decide about anything. So if you can postpone it for next month, okay? This month is not good for any serious decisions. It would be quite unwise, unwise choice if you've uh, tried to do some big decisions, yeah? Also, you should be uh, wary of uh, people uh, surrounding you because there may uh, some of them may not be really genuine. Some it's okay, it's okay. It's my doggy. <laughs> uh, some people around you have been um, uh, not really genuine. Uh, their intentions are not genuine. So if you are uh, closing up some or if you're about to close up some deal or if you are about to uh, deal with somebody regarding to um, anything, um, just be careful who you're dealing with, okay? Uh, revise everything um, try to review what their motives are motives are uh, try to you know find out more information about those people because a there is somebody who is not really genuine use your intuition okay uh, Taurus whatever um, your intuition is telling you what uh, telling you about a certain person you know listen to your intuition because there is somebody who can really uh, like disappoint you or who can really um, do you bad Overall message is a six of fire. So uh, six of fire and hierophant. Okay, a hierophant could be a Taurus, could be you yourself. Uh, it feels that uh, this month can be victorious. Okay, it, there could be uh, there could be some good news on the way, but uh, you. You need to be a uh, very systematic, really uh, you you 
you should really be open and I very uh, because I if you there are some challenging times in your life okay there are some challenging times this month people around you as I said and if you are gonna be having the eyes open if you see that eye above there okay you need to see with your third eye chakra you need to um, be careful okay you um, try whatever the case may be don't close any deals uh, which are not legal don't uh, do everything traditional way and only that way you can win this month there could be people who would try to maybe sneak a uh, where um different kinds of a uh, ways which may not be entirely good okay a uh, and they may give you choice that could be if there could be kind of like a choice uh, should you go like uh, behind the back of somebody or should you go uh, a legal way or should you go like a more traditional way pick the traditional way if you if you pick the other way it's gonna be bad you'll be disappointed if you pick the traditional way or the legal way or the good way the there could be victory for you okay you could be happy and and as things can uh, fix that's why I feel with your general life anyway let's move on to your love life and see what the love has in store for you mm -hmm. there could be somebody you're dealing with that you're not uh, you could be at a distance yeah uh, it feels like it could be your soulmate even though it doesn't seem that way because it it's not entirely uh, the soulmate type that you would be normally expecting to see or to meet but keep an open mind because no matter how weird they seem or how different from your soulmate images it they seem they they have a lot of different qualities that are soulmate um, type basically your soulmate is different from your expectation so keep observe like I feel that there's somebody which you're not entirely sure about okay and maybe that's why you were you are distancing yourself from them or uh vice versa it feels that you should observe more before you do some decision okay observe more the person you're dealing with and you will find a lot more good qualities than you know now and you realize that even though he doesn't look or she doesn't look a uh, perfect uh, type of person you normally date at the moment but more you get to know and observe them okay more you realize that a they could be your soulmate you have a lot in common in other ways and you could really be a good couple but you need to be open-minded Tauruses really have a trouble to be open-minded you know, generally Taurus sees just black or white they don't really see in the middle they uh, they they are more kind of close-minded whatever it seems it is you know that kind of way but now you need to try to keep your mind open okay because this person could be a brilliant match for you but a they're they're not as you normally would expect okay 
so the third also advises you trust trust that uh, and if you are separated uh, it is there for the reason the separation is going to maybe build the connection uh, between the two of you more okay so trust that situation at the moment trust it and uh, just go with the flow okay like this a woman in the car just go with the flow trust your instincts trust your feelings okay maybe now is the right time to be separated because uh, let's say there's uh, issues on both sides in excuse me in your uh, general lives let's say and now you need to be separated to solve your lives and then whenever the time is right you come back to each other and uh, it could be beautiful okay pay attention though whether there are some issues which are uh, ringing a bell or which are kind of raising some uh, some flag because there could be something uh, some signs in your love life that require attention okay so as i say observe them observe everything you see you know pay attention to simple things yeah little things but still don't write them off yet because there is a great potential whatever the flags are they can be dealt with okay there is a passion so it could be just a little bit that are not so important not so major and you can overcome them okay but they need to be they need to be a solved so be true to yourself be true to them be honest to each other and try to talk a lot try to uh, trust each other give the chance okay um the overall message is a calling in your soulmate and a fine balance okay you've been hoping for some soulmate to come yeah you could have uh somebody if you still don't have anyone physically you could have somebody coming soon okay which could be your soulmate but keep an open mind for some of you if you're not having anyone yet okay i because i it seems that you are not balanced at the moment really to be able to uh, think clearly see th clearly okay so try to find balance within you try to uh, maybe meditate try to do some um, mind work mindfulness work uh, with yourself try to observe more try to um, keep your eyes open more try to learn to uh, go with the flow. Don't worry to take risk. Don't worry to trust. Okay, a uh, things may not be as you hope them to be, or as you expect them to be, or people. But doesn't mean they are not the right ones. They are not the soulmate. They are not uh, the people that you should be. Um, dealing with okay you need to be more open to them you need to be more observant more trusting okay do the affirmations yourself okay if you want to meet a soulmate just think about them pray for them uh, offer, uh do the affirmation you know visualize visualize them yourself and you will call them okay you need to also really try to find a balance within you be, be, within you because i feel that you are all over place these days this month okay that's where i feel taurus 
Anyway, Taurus, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it didn't, it did resonate, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and as well. And give me a feedback. I would love to hear feedback from you so that I know uh, what's going on in your lives and if it does or uh, doesn't resonate. If you didn't like my reading, give me thumbs down. That's fair enough. And I... Also check a moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, because sometimes they resonate more, okay? Anyway, Taurus, so uh, I wish you good luck. Have a beautiful day, beautiful month, and I hope to see you next time, okay? Love to you all. Bye-bye.